The dwarves of Ered Luin and Khazadum have joined forces to face off against the armies of darkness in a war for the mountains of Middle Earth. What's up, guys, and welcome back. We're here with another last alliance battle for you today, and this is a glorious 2v2 here. We have two dwarven factions, as I was saying, uh, Khazadum and Ered Luin are facing off against the realm of Mordor and the war host of the north. So, yes, the war host of the north fighting. For those mountains in the north of Middle Earth have called upon their ally Mordor to help them out in this glorious fight. And yeah, I'm excited to see how this one goes down. I think we do have, um, actually, we just have uh, Kazadun Durin Guard. I was going to say, usually we have like the unique uh, Dwarven King um, like uh, models as well. We do have uh, Azagal the, uh, the third, the Broad Beams Guard. They're here. And Azagal, yeah, one of the uh, two available kings that you can bring is Ered Luna because Ered Luna is like two two monarchs at this point it's kind of an interesting concept um we have heirloom tunnel guard russian board already taking like 30 characters these guys getting focused down look at this the orc arch is absolutely brutal on c dwarven lines and yeah they're doing a lot of damage so much for like dwarven armor being like the best around in middle earth and they are already getting stuck in as they get fighting off against the uh, the orcs here i think these are exciting orcs yeah just maggot uh, fighters they are literal like trash they are getting stuck on in. But yes, we are back with some more last lines. You guys seem to enjoy the last one. I thought, you know what, we'll show off another one. Um, because, yeah, I'd like to, you know, show off more of this uh, Lo uh, Lord of the Rings mod for Shogun 2 Total War. If you haven't got it and you've, uh, and you've got Shogun 2, if you haven't tried out the mod, I do recommend you do so. It's an amazing, amazing mod. Does add a whole bunch of, uh, well, new stuff, obviously, for Shogun 2. A whole load of new factions, a new campaign. And, uh, yeah, it's really, uh, uh, like, you know, kind of ahead in some ways of uh, Dawn State having its own own uh, own campaign. But, yeah, they seem to have had less issues with sort of, like, changing the map and modeling and all that sort of stuff. But, yeah, so it's an incredible mod, definitely worth checking out. We've got some Blue Wardens here already getting in against Maggot Spearmen. Here we go, Wargs going. They're a real pain, a real nasty threat as well, actually, these... Uh, these walks and they are getting oh, stuck in. You can see the walks of Mount Gram there the getting stuck in. And Erloom Berserk is trying to chop those guys down. Maggot Spearmen are wavering, but so are some of these Blue Wardens already. But yeah, lots of units already starting to break these Maggot uh, fighters. Yeah, just no match uh, for the uh, for the Dwarves. And you're clearly going for, you know, numbers over quality here. A very mortal sort of strategy. It looks like they're going to try and use their wargs sort of great effect because yeah the dwarves don't really have cavalry at all and they have any sort attack. of cab abilities kaz of doom is now arriving his gate guard is a really good flank uh flanking force would be very good to sort of hold that flank the gate guard you know really strong got big thick armor we have got anatar we have sauron in here he's fighting in the front lines with his black numenorian bodyguard you can see them there with their big sort of like double-handed swords and they've got their very elaborate armor i see throwing axes being thrown who's throwing those this looks like we've got some like spearmen in here. Are these spearmen or pike? They're, they're maggot spearmen. I thought they were maybe like pikemen, but they're not. They do seem to have a lot of two-handed spear units in this uh, in this mod, which is very, very cool to see. They're getting stuck on in. It seems like we've got lots of fire arrows being fired as well. We've got more orc archers firing over here. Where the fire arrows do more damage, I don't really know, but it seems like a lot of people do use them in these in these uh, sort of like these land battles that we see. Uh, these are Kazadoom Gate Guard. I don't think these are as good, uh, as, good as the spear you know, I was thinking of. Maybe not, or they had a rework. I really don't know. These look more like a double handed spear unit. Unless the Gate Guard, yeah, don't have the shield anymore. But I do remember, like, I think it was the Gate Guard that did have, like, incredible, like, looks so, so, like, elaborate and really cool. But I don't think it is them anymore. Uh, like, or they don't have that look anymore. You see, uh, Archers here dueling. They're actually trying to take out, looks like, uh, Orc Pikeman and Moranon. And also Black Numenorean Warriors this are a bow unit, so they're going for some elite bows and some uh, elite pikes. Because the uh, Moran and Guard are very good, actually. Pretty good unit. Oh, but you can see here, Maggot day. Spearmen are breaking. From the field. It looks like they a lot of uh, a lot of orcs actually are breaking. War Riders over here trying to hold back um, the Kazadoom Warriors. The Kazadoom Warriors kind of winning, but also sort of losing. I don't know. It's kind of hard to say. Prolonged melee, I would have thought these guys are not going to do well. Uh, but yeah, Kazadoom Warriors fighting on down here against more... Uh, orc spearmen, and these are like bit, a bit more well-trained spearmen than some of the other ones we've seen. Yeah, these are yeah, these are, they are just um, orc spearmen. They're like maggot spearmen. We've seen orc warband breaking though. They're fighting the Kazadum Durin guard. So yeah, they're up against the uh, the general. He's uh, doing a very good job. No expectations of these orcs to stop him really. 
And yeah, it looks like at the moment the Orc set is kind of breaking Anatar and a few of the elite units are trying to hold the back. I mean, the Pikemen are sort of getting stuck, stuck in here and Storm uh, Band as well. They're pretty decent. The Warband are actually also pretty decent, but yeah, they're not going to stop a, a general unit. Maggot Spearman here breaking, more Storm Band holding the line. Yeah, we've got Butchers of Angmar as well in here. They're a pretty good unit. Looks like um, Aaron Loon really taking the center and Khazad Doom is taking the flanks on both sides here. So it's going to see whether Air Loon really loses momentum having fought longer, whether the center would just sort of like wear him down. Certainly he's fighting pikes, he doesn't want to stay there for a long time. It doesn't seem like they have a, a pike unit themselves. What are those um, gate guard technically count as one? I don't really know. They're sort of like a halberd unit. Looking at them, look at as they go in there, halberds are going into the uh, action. Yeah, I wonder whether they have... It's been a little while since I've uh, seen Kazadoom in action, so I have maybe just forgotten... Uh, what the name of the unit is, but maybe they have just reworked Gate Guard in one of the um, recent updates, just to make them a little bit less OP. But they also seem to have like rechanged the whole cosmetics. If I'm thinking of that unit. I'm definitely going to get told by a Dev. I'm like, oh no, it's Pope. You're thinking of an entirely different unit. You're thinking of this unit, and I'm like, oh, I'm an idiot. There you go. They're getting stuck on in there. And yeah, the uh, wargs of Mount Graham, they, they don't want to stay in prolonged melee against things like yeah, Mithra Warriors and the Gate Guard. They want to get out of there. There is more reserves coming before we've got uh, Orc Redheads of the High Pass. Oh, they, look see, they seem Our pretty elite uh, looking at how what formation they're coming in. They're coming in a proper phalanx. There's like, again, looks like another two-handed spear unit going in. So yeah, some better units going in there. There's an Orc Bodyguard in reserve. That's the general for the... Uh, War host of the north. Yeah, we've got archers in melee here for Mordor. It's not looking good at all for Mordor at all. Like, yeah, look at that. The flank is absolutely decimated. Orc Spearman here being uh, routed. And uh, yeah, you can see they are now flanking on around. And it looks like the Orcs are in a real bad situation here on that oh, right flank. Uh, well, left Our flank for them, uh, the right field. flank for the we dwarves. It's, like, it's a lot of lost. axe throws and stuff in reserve that could definitely be used. And you have blue spears and stuff like that. Like, Ered Loon's got a lot of troops still to go in. There you go. The Dwarves doing a good job. Is Anatar still alive? He looks like he is, but he's losing decisively in that fight, but his uh, morale is looking very good. Uh, Durian Guard are doing a decent job there, fighting Orc Warband. They just need to be careful they don't lose their general. He is a shock sort of type general. He's going to be vulnerable to sort of like walk charges and archers, but it looks like the Wargs have mostly been routed. There's a couple still over on this side with the uh, Wargs on Mount Graham, but uh, yeah, it looks like they're mostly gone. And Orc Archers are actually being engaged now by Mithril Guard. And it seems like the dwarves are doing a decent job in clearing out these orcs here. The mountain passes will be theirs by the looks of it. You can see the mountains back there in the background. You know, that's what they're fighting for. The mountain halls that the dwarves and both the orcs of the north both crave so desperately. It looks like there is a bit of a... Uh, Bit of a mass route going on here from the war host of the north. Oh, Lots of units day. routing here. They still have the field. Uh, their, their general, but he is uh, kind of tied down against Mithril Warriors. He actually looks like he should win that fight. There's actually two war units in there. So they still have a bit of mobility to the wargs. Uh, Anatar, I think, has also been routed here, or he's about to be routed. He's he's wavering. There you go. He has routed. I think he's uh, not been killed yet. But he soon will be. And Mordor has been defeated, as you can see there. Ered Lord, Lewin. General has been captured. Oh, there you go. Anatar's been captured. He's not been killed. Wall. And uh, yeah, Ered Lewin's going to move on. Get over here and assist uh, in his allies' uh, fight over here. Because they could still lose it. There's still some elite redhead sort of like orcs here alive. But it's good to see the forces are good doing well. I feel like in a lot of these uh, last lines battles we've done, over the years, I feel like evil always seems to win a little bit more than uh, the forces of good. It's good to see that maybe the balancing is going out a little bit better. But there you go, Orc Bodyguard and the rest of the war hosts are starting to mass route. And that, I think, is going to be a Dwarven victory here today. I don't see much else alive. There's a unit back here still fighting on. Some uh, Storm Band. His double-handed axe is doing their bit. But yeah, I've definitely got a few more replays I'd like to show off. I feel like uh, there's um, some factions that we don't really often see that have been 
uh, covered in replays. I'm like, oh, that'll be kind of fun to see because you know it's always good to see sort of like you know all of the, uh, the unusual factions because there's a lot of factions in this mod, uh, probably more than base TDD. Uh, I feel like, but yeah, they have some insane uh, like factions, some really really like unique factions. Um, but yeah, the Dwarves, having one hit today, did a very good job. They put up a pretty good solid line, pretty well organized. I just feel like the strategy of the Orcs to just bring like, uh, like a massive quantity of like, uh, not great troops did not work. Um, and they weren't able to break through. I feel like the Wargs and stuff could have done with getting in behind, causing a lot more damage to, uh, archers and stuff. Um, but the, the Dwarves brought a lot of good units to counter that. And, uh, but yeah, I think a little bit better micro from the Wargs, uh, like the, in other battles, I've seen them go in and out of combat. They don't stay in melee for very long. And uh, that's how you get really good kills of them. We'll have a look at the kills that they've got. I imagine they might have, will have still got triple figures. Because they seem to be really strong. But they honestly are, um, at the moment, seem to be the difference between, um, like, factions. Like, you have a good faction against an evil faction. Evil do well if they bring wargs and play with them well. Uh, I didn't feel like these guys played too great with them. But anyway, this one was sent in by uh, Aiden, who was playing as one of the... Uh, actually, I don't think it was. I think it was sent in from... I think it might have been sent in from Aiden. I'm not sure. We'll see it in a moment. But I'm pretty sure um, it wasn't from his perspective, this one. But maybe it was. Kaz Doom, anyway, Aiden was playing as. Um, so he did well with his Mithril Warriors here. 394 kills. Uh, 367 kills with the Kaz Doom Warriors. Uh, Mithril Warriors here. Um, getting 257 kills. I mean, they got some huge kills. These, the orc armies are so massive. 244 four, with some more there. Gate guard getting eight, uh, 186, 183 with another one there. They all did really well. Most, of the, nearly all the units, bar this one gate guard down here, all dwarven, like Kazadoom, has got um, triple figures. Um, then we have the war host of the north here, played by, played by Zero. His Stormbag getting 82 kills, 80 kills with his orc butchers. Eesh, these are good units. I've said that the butchers here, they're a really good unit. Only 80 kills is pretty uh, poor. Uh, Wargs of Mount Graham getting 70 kills. And the uh, Redheads of the High Pass getting 56 kills. That's rough going there. Uh, and then, yeah, more Wargs getting 52 kills. Yeah, that's surprising. And then, yeah, a lot of, like, cheap units. Even some good units getting really low kills there. Uh, then we have uh, Gomia Stan playing as uh, Ered Loon. 300 kills with the uh, Ered Loon Warriors. 262 kills with his Belagos Shield Bearers. Berserk is getting 213 kills. 134 uh, with these axe throws here, and they only lost two men. Jeez. Uh, 24 kills with blue spears. Yeah, really good kills there as well for Ered Lewin. Then we have Boki. I think it was from his perspective, was this, uh, this replay, really, because um, it was notifying us when uh, the Mordor units broke. So I believe it's from his perspective as uh, Boki's. 188 kills with Anatars. By far and away the best. I mean, this 75 man unit, yeah, fights pretty much to the last man. You can see they, yeah, all died. Um, 188 kills for them, 170 kills for the Black Numenor Warriors. Yeah, Elite Arch Unit, you'd expect something like that for kills. 108 with the Storm Band, War Band getting 92 kills, and then uh, 74. I mean, and then yeah, the Wargs getting 63. I just don't think they did a great job. I think they were too long and prolonged melee. They need to get like hammer and anvils. That seems to be what they do really well at. But yeah, well done to all the players that took part in this one. Thank you very much for having this one set in, guys. Very much appreciated. Do keep setting in your last Alliance replays. Feel free to join my Discord if you ever want to send them in. I'm always looking for more cool uh, replays from this uh, Second Age mod. But yeah, if you haven't checked it out, I'll leave a link for that as well in the description. It's an easy mod DB in install, and then you can get into playing some battles, either MP or whether it's just single player for you guys if you prefer a bit of a campaign. But yeah, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and all that shenanigans. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.